Well, good morning to another Florida vlog and welcome to the rat race that is Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom. <laughs> Again, it's another busy day. Let's get into Magic Kingdom and uh, let's see what rides and attractions we can go on and see. So here we are again at uh, Main Street USA in Magic Kingdom, walking up towards the castle. We were here the other night, a couple of days ago, and um, we came at night time when it was all dark and well, everything was lit up, which was very pretty. We got to see the fireworks, but it was absolutely heaving with people. This Main Street, you couldn't get on it. It was just ridiculously busy. Think of Wembley Stadium, a full Wembley Stadium, emptying out all its people out onto Main Street. That's what it was like. So you couldn't really get a good view of the castle and the fireworks. You had to stand somewhere really awkward just to get a glimpse of the castle and the fireworks. It was that busy. Yeah, so it was here the other night seeing the fireworks. It was a very busy night, so it was so busy we couldn't get a proper good spot to watch it, but if you want to see everything that we saw, I'll put a link into the video if we want to see what the uh, Disney World was like at night time with the fireworks. place. I mean, it's a great place for the kids, isn't it? Great place for little kids, you know. Fantasy land. Very magical. Peter Pan, 65 minute wait. Small world, 35 minutes. Another uh, ridiculously long queue for the Haunted Mansion. Very busy again. I think it's 45 minutes. I don't know. It looks bigger than it is, I think. It seems bigger than it is. So we've just checked out Peter Pan. That's a bit too long to wait for us, really. Not that bothered I'm seeing it. Um, yeah, we've been past Sleepy Hollow Cafe. They do like funnel cakes and things, which is quite nice. But we fancy a nice little uh, coffee and a muffin, really, to start our day off. We might head to that big bakery that's down on Main Street. So we've come in the bakery on Main Street USA. We've got a queue up to get in the door. It's like queuing up for a ride. So busy. Let's have a look at the uh, beverages. Let's get some frappuccinos and mochas. Espresso. Hot lights. There's actually a Starbucks here at Disney. That's that's what it is. It's a Starbucks bakery. So it's really crazy in here. So um, it's so loud. You have to shout your order through the box. They got these screens up at the desks to you know to protect the um, worker. But they got like these little speakers that you have to shout through. You have to shout your order through because they can't hear you. It's absolute chaos here. So it's like a Starbucks cafe. So I've ordered three flat whites, three um, like egg and sausage, cheese muffins, and I um, ordered some three blueberry muffins. We paid for them, and then they shouted to us, oh, we've got no blueberry muffins left. We've only got one left. And then I had to get like a um, sugar and plum Danish or something. I don't know. I have no idea. But yeah, you have to shout everything in this place. <laughs> a bit chaotic. This was the place where they got my name wrong last time. They kept calling me Rain and... 
and pray and all that. So I had to really shout my name through and spell it to him, Ryan. So uh, we've charged our batteries with a nice uh, muffin and a coffee in the Starbucks bakery on Main Street. Bit of a long wait because it was very, very busy, but uh, we finally got it. So we're going to head on into Adventureland. Skipper Canteen, with a nice Union Jack British flag there, look. Yeah, certainly a lot crowded and a lot more busier than uh, previous vlogs in previous years. I remember coming here in 2019 in September and this was dead quiet, there was no one here. Totally the opposite now. Yeah, it's a very different situation now with the uh, 50th anniversary and uh, because of Covid, the last two years everyone's holidays and vacations have been closed and cancelled. So uh, everyone who's had their vacations and holidays cancelled previously have uh, come now. Pirates of the Caribbean ride. One of my Disney favourites. But compared to other lands, other Disney theme parks, this isn't the best one. I think um, the Pirates in Disneyland Paris is actually better than this one. It's a lot longer ride and better smells and experience inside. Yeah, that one is quite short here at uh, Magic Kingdom. Tortuga Tavern. What food do they do here, I wonder? Tortuga Tavern. Oh, they've got a burger, chicken strips, barbecued pork sandwich. Mm. Maybe something for later. Yeah. So we've skipped through Adventureland and now we're heading through to Frontierland. So we've just come to Thunder Mountain and uh, it says it's a 45 minute wait. But look at the queue. It's out the gates and all the way down there. Menora. So the queue for Big Thunder Mountain, the queue for Big Thunder Mountain is all the way back here. The lady with the sign is back here. Well, it says 40 minutes. I don't know, I can't believe her. It says 40, 45 minutes from here, but the queue looks a lot longer than that. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe 40 minutes. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, there's a big mixture of reasons why Walt Disney World is so busy at the moment. I think one of the reasons is obviously it's the 50th anniversary has just started recently. Then you've just had, um, the previous week you've had Veterans Day, you've got Thanksgiving next week, then you've got the Christmas season. So all the festive Christmas season stuff has already started here at Walt Disney World. You've got the US borders have just reopened last week. So you've got the influx of international guests coming in as well. Um, if you think the last two years we've had COVID, a lot of people's holidays and vacations have been cancelled in the last two years. So everyone is now coming for their vacation. Everyone is coming now for their holiday that they had previously cancelled. So it's a big number of things why Walt Disney World is so busy at the moment. And um, yeah, just gotta, I think Disney's gonna be like this for quite some time. I think it's, it's gonna be like it for the next year or so, I think. With the 50th anniversary celebrations going on for a whole year. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be a real busy time. This whole COVID thing has just messed everything up and changed everything. Um, yeah. But hey ho, we're here. That's the main thing. We're happy to be here. That's the main thing. We're happy to be back in Florida. So we've got to think positively. But just expect longer waits, longer delays and expect busier times. Um, so yeah, you've just got to pick the right weeks. You've got to make sure you pick the right weeks that don't have any American holidays and celebrations. Because when they have a lot of national holidays here in America and when they do, they tend to have the whole long weekend off. So people use those opportunities for long vacations. So you just, yeah, you've got to be very clever on how you pick your holiday, which week you pick. You've got to make sure it's in between the holidays here and then you'll get quieter times. SeaWorld, we went to SeaWorld the other day, that was very really quiet as well. 
we got on Mako quite a few times on the front row. So, um, yeah, you just got to be clever how you pick your week. A little update on where we are in the queue. So the queue is actually moving pretty fast, actually. We've come a long way in just five minutes, really. If you think five minutes ago, we were just all the way down there. Down there. Down over the bridge, but we've actually come quite far in a short space of time. So it isn't as bad as it looks. So yeah, it's going okay, it's going okay. So we've just done uh, Big Thunder Mountain, great ride as always, one of the best here in Walt Disney World, one of the best experiences I think for all the family, just a real good runaway mine train, real classic ride, brilliant ride. Um, yeah it was about 40, yeah it was about 45 minutes I think it was to get on, so it weren't too bad, the queue was moving quite quickly, even though there is uh, a lot of crowds here today and it is very very busy. But yeah, brilliant ride. So we're making our way through Frontierland now and seeing what else we can get on.
Now heading into Tomorrowland. There's the old uh, people mover up there. If you're feeling a bit tired and you want to rest your feet, just get on that ride and it just goes around, uh, around the block. <laughs> if you want to rest up for a few minutes, just uh, take it easy and rest your feet up for a while. Get on the old people mover. It's a nice, gentle, relaxing little ride that goes around the future world, Tomorrowland. Nice, easy ride to rest up. It's a very boring ride. <laughs> don't, you don't really see much on it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's the resting ride. People mover. There's two queues here and we're not sure which is which. One's the Astro Orbiter and one's for the people mover. We just want to get on the people mover, I think. I'm not sure. So this is the long line for the people mover. It is moving quite fast, but it's the longest wait I've had to have a sit down. <laughs> so I want it really. We've got to queue up and stand on our feet for about 20 minutes just so we can sit down for 10 minutes. <laughs> it's time for a bit of a nice sit down, a bit of a relaxing. Time for a bit of a sit down and a rest. I wonder how many people there are in the side the park today. It'd be really interesting to know how many people are actually inside Magic Kingdom right now. This is dream for an experimental prototype community in Tomorrow. Progress City was the inspiration for Epcot, and many of its forward thinking ideas have been realized throughout Walt Disney. Progress City. Land of Tomorrow. Oh, what's this in here? If your future includes shopping, then you'll want to visit Star Traders, where you'll find the greatest goods from around the galaxy. We're going across the uh, speedway. At the Tomorrowland Speedway, put the pedal to the metal. Glorified go karts <laughs> I've never really understood the, um, why people love these so much. You know, it's just a simple go kart thing. I don't know why it's everyone loves it so much. I don't. I don't understand. Please tell me. You're just driving around a go-kart. Well, not even that, not even a go-kart, just a little buggy around a track. You can't even control it. I don't understand. Oh, here's Tron, look. This is the building site for Tron. So, oh, this is going to be a really good ride when it's finished. I really want to ride this. If you go to um, the Disney World in Asia, you'll see it. We're inside Space Mountain now. It's very dark and spooky in here. Can't see nothing. It's pitch black. So we're actually in Space Mountain now. You can't see much at all. Nothing. You just hear people screaming. Pitch black in here. It's a bit like the old black hole ride at Alton Towers. Dun, 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 dun. We're having a lovely time in the dark. Oh. I thought the ride had broken down then, it stopped and all the lights came on. Okay, it's amazing, right? That, that massive queue we just went in, there's only a few people on the ride. What was the big queue for? I don't understand. This time it's laughter they're after at Monsters Great big queue and there's nobody so on the ride yet. Yeah. yeah, I think here in Tomorrowland they really need that Tron ride because uh, that'll be a really good ride, that really good roller coaster when that's finished and fully built. But Tomorrowland to me is like the most boring area of the whole Magic Kingdom park. I don't know about you, but nothing really appeals to me here. Yeah? Space Mountain's like really old and just throws you about the place.
front of it. Like. Well, here we are. We're just about to leave Magic Kingdom. We probably won't be back here this trip, so say goodbye to Magic Kingdom for this year. Goodbye. It's nice that we got to leave whilst the uh, parade was going past. It was a nice little uh, exit for us. And we were following the floats down the main street. We were following the floats down the main street behind the security guard and that. Just following the floats down. It was like, it was as if we were part of the parade in a way. It's really funny. I felt like, oh, all these people come to see us. <laughs> yeah, it was good fun actually. Um, yeah, it was just a small parade, but it's a nice little uh, goodbye and little exit for us as we leave Magic Kingdom. So yeah, that's that for another year. We like I said, we probably won't be coming back here again this trip. been and gone and done it we are now annual pass holders for the very first time <laughs> <laughs>